Well, here we are. Welcome to spring. This is spring semester 2021. I'm sure a lot of us are glad that 2020 has ended, but at the same time, there's gonna be some challenges and also some joys in 2021. Welcome to Intercultural Communication. I'm going to challenge you this week to get to know me and get to know one another, as well as what our course is about. Your challenge is to sign up or drop in with an open house time, just 10 minutes to say hi to me through Zoom or if you need to the phone. Secondly, in your discussion this week, you will explain more of who you are and you'll begin to address these three questions of who am I, who are you, what are we doing here together? So here I am in Rochester, Minnesota in a pandemic uh, with my RCTC mask or perhaps uh, a daily mask, uh, disposable one. And there's a hockey rink in behind, behind me. A lot of our activities have halted, but it is interesting. This is pretty typical of Minnesota. I grew up in Northern Minnesota. It had to stop to take this video here. At the same time, I would have normally perhaps been continuing down this direction to RCTC to meet students in office hours, even if you're online, probably working there, seeing my colleagues, having a few classes. So our times have changed, but the theory really hasn't. And in Enhance, I think it's, a, it, perhaps it's even more important than ever that we ask our questions, who am I, who are you, what are we doing here together? Over the past week, there has been quite a few different disturbing stories that have come out of our U.S. Capitol on many different sides of the issue of <clears throat> of what it means to share our viewpoint, to ask for our First Amendment rights, and to have discourse. This class will ask us, perhaps not as you know, um, extreme to attend a, a rally or a protest, or you know, in that case, perhaps a riot in a, a place far away, but instead to step out, <laughs> and you don't have to always literally step out in the cold, but to step out of your comfort zone and to think more about who am I, who are you, what are we doing here together? And I wanna just use one example. So let's say that you were running for lunch today. You have an option to come over here to Burger King and you can drive through. And with the pandemic, that might be a good idea. You might have uh, over here behind me, Cub Foods, some sandwiches that you made yourself and even got that through drive through again or pickup or delivery. And that might be a really good idea. But even in those choices, you may find some culture in your backyard, some choices of things you haven't done before, who you've talked to or what you purchased. But if you were to just perhaps venture just a little bit differently on the other side, you could see here that you'd have some choices, whether it was with Asian foods or perhaps um, with this African, um, Asian and American foods store. There's several places in Rochester and if you're not in Rochester, I'll help you out. I live in a small town Dodge Center just outside of Rochester. But if you were just to begin to just step in a bit more and instead of just the pizza, perhaps try the Brava restaurant and cafe, you might find that you have tried just a little bit different culture in your backyard. Or perhaps it is your culture and you'll invite me in or others. Uh, having had a chance to live in three different continents, teach in three different continents, it really is important to step outside sometimes and see what it is that surrounds you and how you might integrate your own particular values, viewpoint, co-cultures with a global economy in a global intercultural world. So this week we begin to share more about who we are. Each week you can imagine yourself taking this class and just pushing yourself just a little bit more, maybe not outside in the cold, but just a little bit more to answer those three questions. You will have two uh, projects and a final project. I changed it up this semester so you can either do an essay as it stands a report or a special creative project. So the creative project could be anywhere from a video or a narrated PowerPoint interviews, or it could be traditional essays or reports written. You'll see the guidelines in the content section. You will do two of those projects and then report a final project. Throughout the semester, you'll have six hours that you will get out and about, whether it's just walking through a grocery store and trying something different, so instead of the Cub Foods coming over here, maybe to Bacar Grocery, or there's several Asian, um, uh, Mexican, and <clears throat> uh, Pakistani grocery stores here in town in Rochester, 
or maybe your getting out would be joining me for a Zoom session with some of my friends or finding your own um, connections from high school with your exchange students, friends. But you will be getting out and about. It's really important that you keep track of that and begin sooner than later. So by midterm, before spring break, you should have three hours and then at the end of the semester, three hours. You'll write your papers, your posts, your discussions about that. So there's just three projects, weekly discussions, quizzes, and then conferences. So I hope that you'll find this class uh, a challenge for who you are, but also an enhancement, something that will bring you to answer the question a little differently. Who am I? Who are you? What are we doing here together? So I'm going to put my mask on and continue my daily activities that I need to get done for this first day of classes. But I hope that this semester will be a great one for you and I am thrilled that you're in class. Any questions?